I would like to start this with, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Let's just get that out the way. No idea what the fuck I'm doing, like most of us. But today I ate three pieces of a Wonder Bar, psilocybin infused. And I'm about two hours into it right now. And I, I want to do this now because whenever you trip or go down that road, you always learn something new. But it always winds up being the same thing that you learned before. Like something that we already know and it's so simple. But earlier today I was watching the movie from Disney Soul. And they are on some fucking shit with that movie. And I can't believe I, I just happened to align watching that with tripping. And music is what I fucking do. So it just spoke to me so fucking much. And how our souls are torn on what's right and what we should do. And I'm still wet right now. I just got out the shower. Like, when I trip, I love to fucking get a shower and shit. Like, I just lay in the shower. I love the vibes. But this is my Pokemon blanket I've had since I was a kid. Dude, life is so fucking weird. Um, my hair is wet and messy from the shower and I'm wearing a beanie. Cuddling the blanket that I did since I was two years old. Thinking about all the things that I did in the past to where I'm at now. Based off of the movie Soul that I just watched. So I'm not going to give anything away in the movie. But this is why I'm in front of the camera right now. Instead of just enjoying whatever. In the shower, I was getting really, really intense, like re reaching to a pee. And I only ate three pieces. I've eaten nine grams of shrooms. I've gone deep before with just shrooms and, and acid and s different things. But they said on this package that it takes away the nauseous feeling that shrooms gives you. So I was excited to see that because the nauseousness that shrooms gives me is usually, I can tell where I'm at. That's my gauge or my meter of where I'm at. But I didn't get nauseous. In the shower though, I felt the need to throw up. It was weird. It wasn't a nauseous thing. I just had to throw up real quick. And I'm sweating so much talking about this right now because it's crazy. If you guys haven't seen the movie Soul yet, this is not some fucking selling for it. But they know what they're doing in that movie. They know, they know what they're talking about with the geometrics and shit. And we know that they show us stuff in Hollywood, but essentially his soul leaves his body. That's one of the things that happens. And when I threw up, I only threw up a tiny little goblet of spit that was the chocolate. Like it, it was chocolate, it was brown. And the second it got out of my mouth, my trip cut in half. Like I wasn't tripping as hard. It cut in half and I watched my soul, one, a piece of my soul go down, literally go down the drain. And after just seeing that movie, it was just so crazy. I was like, as it happened, I was like, fuck. I was just like, fuck, I lost it. I lost the trip. It's gone. Like, I shouldn't have thrown up. I should have just dealt with the pain. I should have just gone through it and not purged myself. And fucking, because I thought I lost the trip. Ten seconds pass. I stand up in the shower, take a deep breath. Like, all right, I guess I can make that video now. Because <laughs> as I was thinking about making the video, I was tripping too hard. And I took a deep breath. I was like, maybe I should throw up for a second. And as I threw up, I like sobered up immediately. It was so fucking weird. So it's obviously in my bloodstream right now. If you can't see my fucking pupils or how cross-eyed I am. But I wanted to do this now to see my physical, if I can even connect what the fuck is happening right now, because I thought the trip was over then. This was about 20 minutes ago that I, this happened in the shower. And the second I got out, set all this shit up naked, because <laughs> I just wanted to record and see. I looked in the mirror, my pupils are fucking big, and I'm still there, but I'm not near them. You know in movies, or when you see uh, things in 3D, the red and the blue, when things are kind of fusing together to make it 3D, that's where I was. I was right at that fusion. And it was super intense and I loved it, but I didn't like the feeling that I had to throw up. So of course I wanted to get rid of the throw up feeling, but that immediately took away the red and blue of my vision. So I was like, 
was the feeling of throwing up in my body biologically what was making me trip? Or was it what I literally just threw up because I'm clearly still tripping right now from what's in my system? So I don't know, but I, all I know is I feel good, great, but every time I do shrooms or something, it's the same thing. I'm like, why did I do this again? I don't need to do this anymore. I know the answers. I know everything. That feeling that like, oh, like, oh shit, I'm about to trip and uh, six hours of this. And, and then when you're in it, you realize that it's, that it's so fucking blissful. And you, you actually do learn a new lesson that you might have known already that's very simple and in front of our faces every day but it winds up being in a different nuance and you understand it in a different way as well. So that's the beauty of these things and I haven't been I haven't been ready to trip for like two I haven't tripped in two years. A year and a half at least. Because I wasn't mentally there. I felt like I had learned what I needed to learn. And then a couple weeks ago when I said I'm ready to try DMT, if you say it in your brain like I'm ready to try it, then you're ready. You're you're psychologically there. The physical things that come with it is what's weird. That's what people don't know how to digest what they're doing while they're doing it. Because a lot of the times when I do something, whether it's like psilocybin or like if I've done, when I've done ecstasy or tried other shit, I have to go to the bathroom, like to the bathroom. And I'm getting a shower right after that if that's the case. So inevitably my body biologically I feel more comfortable being home doing these things because I know that I can just shower up if I ever need to that's why people say you're supposed to fast before you eat not so it's more intense which is a part of it but so literally your body isn't fucking faltering under the circumstances while you're trying to comprehend you don't want to be sitting on a toilet for two hours <laughs> while you're tripping face which is fucking weird but that always seems to be the case so if not, if you're not fasting before it, that's going to be a situation that you should be aware of. And if you're going to festivals, which who fucking knows when, when or where that's going to happen again with this shit. But that's, I don't even care about that, honestly, because this journey that I've been on has been such a, um, this journey of life, not the past two hours has been so weird. And this last year has been a. I've always been connected with myself and in tune, but I didn't realize how out of tune I was from what I was trying to achieve for my soul, not for having a house or not for impressing these people for my soul. Everything I was doing was not, was not, not there at all. So I had to kind of erase my whole life's work and my whole life's vibe my vibrance, everything about it, I had to reassess and question. Not was it real because it was, but how was it so real and genuine for me but didn't come off that way for other people or that the outcome didn't, the reciprocation wasn't genuine and love in return. That's what confused me. So learning about the duality of life and the rights and wrongs and ups and downs and this person's that person because of what they went through. That's where I completely just lost my train of thought because I just saw the word wonderful and I was thinking about life and like wonderful. You're the wonderful. That's the words I see right now. You are the wonderful. Well, there it is guys. The wonder bar. You guys are the wonderful. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy, bro. How, how stupid shit just pops in your head and completely fucks your trains of thoughts up. I was in the shower about to have the gnarliest peak and I got scared and threw up my peak. I threw up the peak. So now I'm at stage two or three of the mountain, not even trying to climb up. I know I'm not going to make it to the top again. So now I'm just like, shit, okay. It's the same at the top as it is here. I should have just endured the pain there, which is why I'm enduring the pain right now. 
sweating in front of this light. And I think I'm going to enjoy the vibe now. This is what life is. <laughs> Taking deep breaths, learning, and doing the math. <sighs> and going forward with it. We all get so stuck in the construct of time. That's why people talk about time a lot. That we're running out of time. But there is no such thing, because oh, there is only right now. I read something yesterday that said, Today is the only day you will ever have that's going to be today. Because tomorrow is going to be tomorrow. And yesterday was yesterday. So that means that the manifestation is real. And if we get caught up in the stagnation of time, thinking that we're in a rush or we're not going fast enough or we're too far behind, and you erase all that and realize that the manifestation is within the moment that you do it, you have to do it, then before you know it, you will be that. Otherwise, we're building up this big fun cake that we're trying to, to create that bake and eat. And then when the cake is baked and you eat it, well, what do you do after that cake? The cake's gone. I don't want to make another cake. I did that. That's the thing. It's the whole process. We forget that the process and the journey is the thing. And people say this in books and movies, and it's so cliche. But that's why art depicts real life and to the, to the extent that it can. Because it's about the specific things you do in these moments. Like, I could have not set this up and done this right now. I'll probably never post this shit. <laughs> I'll I will never post this shit. Or I'll post this shit tonight and this is what starts my fucking music career. Talking about a wonder bar and watching the, movie, the Disney movie Soul. Out of a shower looking like shit, not giving a fuck. That's so, that's the weird nuance of this shit, guys. And just taking the deep breath and realizing you're okay, you are the wonderful, the next step will be cool. I'm the wonderful in this step, too. I don't want to be a dickhead over here. I'm going to stay wonderful. But when someone perceives something and makes you paint, paints the picture like this, and you believe what they say about you, you become the inevitable distraction to yourself. Good, cho good choice of word there, distraction. You guys are the wonderful, and I, I'm actually going to enjoy this part now. I'm going to go fucking look at fucking lasers and stuff. Good night, guys. And this is only three bars, by the way. This is, this is a microdose. So if I ate like seven or six... I would be video gaming it right now. Nine to the full bar, bro. That there, this is legit. This is fucking legit, guys. So if you want a real small dose, micro dose, I'd say one and a half. But baby, jump, jump in the shower. You're ready to jump in the shower and clean off and shit. Just don't purge yourself. Three is perfect. Definitely fast before the shit though. Fast before any type of psilocybin situation. But I love you guys, dude. Hopefully I can hug you guys soon. You can, like, feel how smooth this blanket is, dude. Love you guys. Bye.